Okay, so here's the website, um, soapcalc.net, and this is the first page, and you want to click up here for the calculator. And this looks really confusing at first, but I'm going to try to explain a little bit how you use it. So I usually go by ounces. Um, don't worry about this. Um, KOH is if you're making liquid soap and we're making a, a solid. So um, this is the right choice here. Um, right here, I like to use ounces. So I just go by ounces here. I just click that little button. Um, water discount. Um, it's water as the percentage of oils. It's automatically set for 38, but I like it at 35, which is also what the Brambleberry calculator is at. And over here, um, the super fat, it's preset to 5. Um, I personally uh, super fat my soaps at 7. So then you want to go over here and you see a list of oils and um, you want to choose which oils you're using. So um, I'm going to do a basic recipe right now. Um, I'm going to use castor oil. So you find castor oil, oil and you double click on it and that automatically puts it over here on your soap recipe. So instead of um, using a percentage, we're going to use exact ounces because this is the recipe that I'm using. Um, so I'm just going to type in there five ounces. And I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to choose the rest of my oils and then come back and show you how to do the rest. Okay, so the oils I have chosen is coconut uh, castor oil. Coconut oil, you always want to choose a 76 degree one. I want to say usually that's the one that you'll find in grocery stores. Um, also, I chose olive oil, not pomace. Um, pomace, I don't prefer to use. It can make your soap uh, trace really quickly and I put in how many ounces of each oil I'm using and it came up with a percentage of uh, what it was on my batch. And down here you want to click calculate recipe and then you want to click down here to view or print recipe. And once you do that your recipe will pop up and it looks really confusing but what you want to look at right here is your water amount it tells you how many pounds and ounces so we want 14 ounces of water in this batch and your lye amount which this batch calls for 5.45 ounces of lye and then of course right here is your ounces of each oil which you put in for your recipe and down here you'll notice um, the soap bar qualities, um, these will tell you uh, how hard, how cleansing, how conditioning. Um, you don't necessarily have to go by these numbers if your recipe isn't checking out right. It all goes by uh, the feel of your soap and how you like it once it's made. So that's basically uh, how you use soap calc and next one I'll show you how to use Brambleberry. So I'm now on Brambleberry.com and this is how you find the lie calculator is you scroll all the way down and over here under resources you want to click lie calculator for soap makers uh, this calculator is a lot more simple um, than soap calc and I recommend it for beginners um, what type of soap you're making um, it's going to be a solid so um, it's already clicked and I measure in ounces so I have that clicked already. And here you'll see all the choices uh, for the oils. So what you do is, is you put however many ounces you're using for your recipe. So I'm using five ounces of castor oil. Um, I'm using 10 ounces of coconut oil. And I am using 25 ounces of olive oil. So once you put in your ounce numbers, you want to scroll down to the bottom here and it will say choose super fatting level. I recommend choosing between a 5 and a 7. I typically do mine at a 7. That's just something I prefer. And then you want to hit calculate. And note this recipe is exactly the same as the one I entered in 
uh, soapcalc.net. Um, it can give you a little bit different numbers, um, but you know, you really don't have to worry about it. I've never had problems using either one of the calculators, even though they can give you some different numbers. So this one's much easier to read. Um, here's your list of ingredients, how many ounces, and then here's your lye amount. I chose 7%, so um, that number would be 5.399. I would probably just use 5.4. And then how many ounces of liquid that's recommended is 13.26. And it also tells you um, how many ounces of soap that your batch will yield. So you'll want a mold that will fit at least 60 ounces of soap, if not more, for this batch. Um, and so that's pretty much it for Brambleberry.